and a kinetic investigation of the following reaction. Uh, one half. Oh no, it just uh, goes one way. Um, AB gas. Uh, I get the following data. Experiment. Experiment number uh, one, two, and three. I have the concentration of A, the initial concentration of A, the initial concentration of B2, and the rate, which is in moles earlier per second. Okay, and the concentration being 0 0.1 molar, 0 0.1 molar. And the rate was 5.0 times 10 to the minus 4. And then I double the concentration, uh, 0 0.1 molar. I double the concentration of that, and it went to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3. And then I double the concentration of that fixed and double the concentration of B, and I ended up with a rate that was 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3. You can actually, you look at that field, you can almost spot it in your head. And it might be a good idea to just look at it for a second. What happened? I doubled the concentration of 1. And what happened to my rate? What? It increased by 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 is equal to what times 5.0 times 10 to the minus 4? Um, 2. 2 times this is that. Okay, so I doubled it. It doubled the rate. What order is it in with respect to, to, to A? Second order? No. First order. First order. Oh, well, we're going to show that, but I'm just saying, just look at this first. Before you even attempt the problem, just look at the data. you got to almost get a feel from it just from inspection and do it in your head. Then go back and we'll show all the details. Now look at this second one. Uh, okay. So we already know it's going to be first order in A. And now let's look at what it is in B. Now, here I've got, I left the concentration of A fixed, but I doubled the concentration of B. Right? So everything's, this, everything's the same here except I doubled that. And what happened to my rate? Quadruple. Which is 2 times 2 to the what power? 2 to the 2. 2 to the 2. It's 2 squared. So that means the order with respect to B is second order. Oh, it's the order squared. Well, the order is the, is the exponent, okay? So I have, uh, 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 we, we, can all, we already know, before we even start, you know, do it in your head. Relax, look at it, do it in your head. Take an extra, you know, take a breather, relax. Sleep. Yeah. You know, exactly. <laughs> and do it in your head first. Then we'll go through and show formally why, but it should make sense. We already know it's first order with respect to A and second order with respect to B. Now let's go ahead and prove that. So the first question, A, is what is the rate law? So A, what is rate law? I love the law. The law is always our salvation. It gives us something to hold on to. So now I know that rate. Now in this case, I'm going to take rate two over rate one. Now 
is equal to k times 2 times the concentration of A to the N times the concentration of B to the N over K times A to the N times B to the N. Right? So I always set it up this way and then everything drops out K's drop out, that drops out, and it's equal to 2 to the N, and that's equal to uh, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 5.0 times 10 to the minus uh, 4. And that's equal to 2. So 2 to the N equals 2, therefore N equals 1 as we already knew. And now, we have that information. We can now attack the, the order with respect to B. And um, uh, so I'm going to take rate 3 over rate 2. And I'm do the same thing. It's going to be equal to K times A, which is first order, times 2 times B to, to the M over K times A. Okay, and that does the same thing. It drops out, and that gives us 2 to the M, and that is equal to um, 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3 over uh, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3, and that's equal to 4. Uh, uh, therefore, m is equal to 2. And we now know it's second order and with respect to v2. We've shown that, and this gives us the rate law. The rate is equal to K times A, first order in A, second order in B2. That answers that question. So we can find the rate law almost by, you know, you can do it in your head by inspection. And uh, to always take a step back and look at your data relax and look at it with a little bit of practice, particularly after when we did that um, we did that kinetics experiment in the lab. And at the end of the day, we just started looking at the times and, and we could see when we doubled the concentration or cut it in half. When we cut the concentration in half, it ended up taking twice as long. We knew it was first order. And so, uh, that way you have a better feel for the uh, your data. And we get the rate law pretty quickly. Okay, is that pretty straight up? Has everybody got this one? Okay. Now we'll do part B. Wait, can you leave it? How come the ends don't drop out? And the, the first equation, how come the ends don't cancel out? Yeah. Uh, a to the n, and this is two. This is equal to two to the n times a to the n. And so this drops out, and I'm left with two to the n. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Would the b have a subscript of two on the first one? Uh, well, yeah, uh, uh, the B. Well, the rate law, yeah, the, the second order. No, but no, we no. don't know that yet. The, the subscript. Oh, the subscript. Oh, it should happen, yes. Oh, okay. So, I'm sorry, that was just my bad. And then the A over there, does it have an exponent of N? No, uh, well, we already solved that by that. By that oh, point. to make it a one, okay. Yeah, so I already knew it was first order. Because we established that first. 
And so in my sequence, I showed that, and then I showed that uh, we solved for m, and m was 2, so now we have the right law. But we almost can do it, and we should be able to. Uh, I'm going to get the data sets like this, that you should be able to spot it. What does that mean, 2 to the n equals that particular ratio equals 2? Well, this is rate 2 divided by rate 1. Okay. And this is the rate law. That, okay. And so it was 2 to the n. And then this is rate 2. And this is rate 1. Right. And so, yeah, let me use my Mr. Hand. Where was I? Oh, yeah. N is what? Let's see, Jessica. Uh, 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 N is the order. Uh, but we, you know, we solve for, you know, that N is the exponent, actually. The order is the exponent. And what, what, when we got this expression, we found that the ratio of these two rates is going to be equal to 2 to the N. So we could solve for N, and then that, that, that this was rate 2 and over there, and this is rate 1 over here. Okay? So 2 to the N is equal to this, and that is equal to 2. Got it? <laughs> okay, it'll come. Just relax. Part um, B. Part B? Yeah. Okay. We'll do part B.